just got a text from my mom um, looking like the forecast for the hurricane is, well, for Tropical Storm Durian is shifting over to a hurricane. Um, and it is now shifting more north and expected to hit North Florida as possibly a Category 2. Um, we're in the highest point of the south end of Florida, so we're kind of like south central part of Florida, um, so we will get impacted. There's still a possibility that the hurricane can go straight up the coast because it's going so far east already, um, but there is still that possibility that it could roll over us as a category one or two, and we gotta be prepared for that. Um, yesterday I got the uh, tomatoes up. Still gotta get another strand of those, though probably won't make it if it hits us in a category two, but we'll see, we can still be hopeful. Got a lot of things picked up. We still got some more stuff to pick up. Um, working on that today, and I'm also going and to a friend's house um, to get, she's got some fruit trees they're moving and they've got their properties kind of cluttered up with a bunch of different plants and stuff. So she is giving us mulberry trees, bushes, mulberry bushes, mulberry bushes, and a bunch of coconut trees as well and maybe anything else. So we're going over there this morning and then getting that, planting those out of the property and then coming back and cleaning up the property to get ready for the storm. Good morning. I need to go get mulberries and coconut trees. Very sleepy. Mm. Oh, my sweet boy. Time to get up, sugar. Mwah. Come on. Let's go. No, oh, come on. No, come back. I'm too sleepy to move. What's wrong? I gotta go feed the cats, okay? Okay. Oh, we gotta bring the shovel. I think I already got the shovel on the truck. Gotta bring some pots, and I've got a fabric. I've got two fabric planters for the mulberries. I honestly have no clue how big they are. Leon is getting his schoolwork. Aha, here we go. I got these. These are awesome. I actually really love these. I've got two of those. We live right next to a school can be a little noisy in the mornings, on school mornings. We had a casualty, just kind of fell out. Um, I wonder if maybe Loctite would work, because it fits in still, and I can use it for a little bit longer, but it just falls out. So I'm gonna try and see if I can fix this. I don't wanna have to buy a new one. You gonna help us dig up the plants today? I can try. You can try? You know what you better go get? What? Better go get your shovel. So by the mulch pile. Yep, I can put that in the truck. Show me the muscles. What? Look at that muscle. This is your muscle right here. Look at that. Urgh. Flex it. <laughs> so the plan as of right now for all the animals, the flock and the goats are going to be moving into the garage come storm time. We're going to set up a little area for them. We've got a little temporary small enclosure fence that will keep them in. We're going to put that down, lay a, drape a tarp over that so it kind of creates a bowl and put some bedding in there 
for them so that they have a comfortable, safe place to be during the storm. And then the horses and the cows, we are going to give them the benefit. We don't have a barn, but honestly, putting an animal in a barn is a double-edged sword when it comes to a storm. What if well, the animal could be fine during the storm, but what if, God forbid, the it floods or um, the barn collapses, the roof, the roof caves in, then that animal is trapped. So um, what I've been taught is that the best thing to do is to let them be free, not necessarily let them out of the pasture, but we've got eight acres for them to roam and move around to find their own shelter. We've got lots of places in the wetlands where they can find shelter and be safe. And they, 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 they have instincts. They're better at surviving. Um, best thing we can do is write down, mark, mark them with our phone number, our names, and where they're from. That'd probably be the best bet so that they, if a fence comes down for some reason, they do get out someone they, someone finds them they'll know who they belong to and we've got some we've got some markers for that and that'll be what we do likely I've seen it done with horses a lot of times um, it's kind of what we've done what we've always done with horses is just to label them with the contact information for us so that if they get out they can be returned to us so are we gonna have a hurricane party You don't want to. You're a Floridian, buddy. We have hurricane parties. It's looking like it's going to go north of us, so we just might get a really, really nasty storm. Daddy won't be going to work, which Daddy's supposed to have a three-day weekend. Thanks, Dorian. No three-day weekend for Daddy. But, um... We'll have a three-day weekend locked in the house. <laughs> we can do a lot of cleaning. <laughs> Joy on his face. <laughs> um, so we've got two mulberry trees. One of them. There's one. That's gonna be a beast. That's a beast. Yeah, that's what he knows it's gonna be a beast. So hopefully he doesn't disappear too soon. <laughs> and then. Um, so, That's a mulberry. That actually produces uh, the mulberry fruit, which is amazing. It produces in Where? the spring. Probably, yeah. Because I know my girlfriend has one that's three houses down, and it's like 80 feet. I, I hear amazing huge. things about yeah. mulberries. Yeah, and they're very, very good for you. They're yeah. antioxidants. No, um, mulberry fruit. It probably, you know, once you put it in the ground, and then it die. could go into shocks. So you that's why you have to keep it watered all the mm -hmm. time and everything. So. Yeah. I know now is not really the time to transplant, but really and truly in Florida, you can transplant pretty I'd much, say, pretty much, yeah, anywhere, any anytime. So right. obviously oh, not man. during the dead of winter, but and then um, would it be a horrible? Because I don't have any red flags. Would it be a horrible thing if we cut no, some of the longest so. ones yeah, back just to shorten it up a bit, and then yeah, I don't think that would okay. be a problem. And your husband's gonna help you plant them. We'll see. <laughs> I might be the one planting. Okay, okay. Loaded. I have to be careful when I, when you, um, I put my mom. Oh. Sure, actually, you stay here after your mom. So, it's a lot of trees. The mulberries are a lot bigger than I uh, thought they were. Our pots. Got the shovel. Got the Leon. Leon! Alright, come on, buddy, come out. Alright, so. I'm thinking surely we can fit the root beds for the mulberries into these, these ones. Come on, Leon. Hopefully. We'll see. I totally spaced and forgot to grab the garbage bags and try and do it that way. So, that's a uh, pretty tall tree, so we may have to... Uh, kind of cut it back. The other one's taller and leggier. So I might be doing some heavy pruning 
in the winter. All right. Here. You got it, bud? Whoop. So, if you ever see a big coconut tree and there's lots of coconuts on the top of that tree, don't go under it unless you have a super hard helmet. What is this? This is my prime joy. This is, is a it? ginger that blooms and the fragrance is dying. It's life. ginger? Yes, in the ginger family. Same as this. This is in the ginger family. But this produces a fragrance and I only have one left. And that's what I have left. I, wanna, I just learned recently about shampoo ginger. I want to Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. The these are the shell gingers and I've been plucking these off. This shell gingers? See this shell flower? Oh, I see one right here. Yeah, yeah. that's it. I wonder what look at Leon. Look at the. Look at this. degrees right now. Florida, why are you so hot? Starting on digging a hole for the mulberry tree. Um, gonna put it here because these trees can get upwards of 60 feet tall and 60 feet wide. I don't want them to shade the fruit trees that we have. I don't want them to shade the garden, so I'm putting it back here. That will further extend the shadiness of our backyard. So, and it's planted, and I gotta milk Chloe. came down uh, really quickly but uh it could be. we got pretty wet <laughs> we got the mulberry in the ground and I'm kind of wondering if I should stake it I feel like that would be a smart thing to do and I might just I'm gonna let this I'm gonna pull up the radar and see if this is going to uh, blow over I'm soaking wet right now <laughs> oh man this is what just came out of nowhere let's see what it's there predicting it to be Oh, yeah, looks like this is gonna be a, an afternoon on the couch. <laughs> so, I definitely wanna stake that tree though, just to give it a little extra support so it doesn't blow over because it's still, it just now got its roots down. So I think I'm gonna quickly, I'm gonna go stake that. Okay, I tied up the mulberry and in the best I could, I staked it up a little bit. Unfortunately, the third hair string was, hay string was not strong enough, so I kind of tied it to two. I meant to tie it to three, but I didn't have the right hay string, and it's starting to get a little bit gnarly out there. It's getting questionable. All of the cows around me are bellowing, so we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Everyone's hanging out right now. Um, we are going to go ahead and head home because um, this is not going to break up anytime soon. This is probably what it's going to be like until dark tonight, so we're going to have to... Um, go home and we'll start doing other preparations for the storm. Back out of the pasture now. We ran into town, ran a few errands. Rain cleared up. Got a little Florida on that. Um, but I've got to get Miss Chloe milked out and get the flock fed. Leon is putting, giving the goats their hay after he decided to try and help out. He accidentally put the hay on the ground and not in the hay bag, so he's currently cleaning that up. But, um, so I got, I got Chloe eating a snack right now. I'm gonna get her loaded up at the milking stanchion and get her milked out. And then we can go home and continue putting stuff up.
we really don't need any milk right now, so I am pretty much just milking her out and giving it to the flock, mixing it in with their feed, and that actually helps reduce the amount of feed that we have to give them. update is now that Hurricane Dorian has been upgraded to a hurricane status. So Hurricane Dorian is pushing more towards, projectedly pushing more towards the center of Florida and could blow right through the middle at potentially category three. So that means we've got, we definitely have to board up the windows and hunker down and start really getting prepared because never know and like I said it could still go right up the East Coast and go completely out of way it could lose power over the Atlantic and um, just gotta buckle down and prepare for the worst and hope for the best uh, the chicken. what are you doing all right can you go and get the Leon can you go get the feed please for them for the flock In the back of the truck. Okay. Oh, like. <laughs> no, guys, you can't come in. You know you can't go out. Come on. Okay. Hey, guys. Ready for some milk? Watch out. There's some milk for that one. Milk for that one. And we're about to bring your feed. They love it. They love it. Come on, buttermilk bunch. Oh. <laughs> they love it. Then we will dump their feed in with it. The feed will soak it up. They'll have an easier job eating it. Then you can help me. Right before, the, or before Maple and Brownie notice. All right, get the gate, get the gate, get the gate. Can I do it? Yeah. <laughs> Go dump a little bit in each one. There you go. There you go. The rest is here. Watch out, guys. 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 We want to kind of slurry it in. Dump, yep, dump more in there. Dump it all in there. And you mix it in? Yeah. Yep, we mix it in. It'll absorb all the milk and all the nutrients that come with it, and they'll eat it all. They will eat every bit of what we just milked out of Chloe. So it won't go to waste. Mm-hmm. They're very happy. Because it's so good. Look at the duck. <laughs> Look at the buttermilk. Buttermilk's chugging it down. Come on. Hurry. Maple's coming. No, you don't. Let's see how Axel's doing. Very sweet. Hey there, handsome man. He's still very sweet. He is still very sweet, but he is a bull. Hey. Hey. Can I get some chin scratches? Oh, you going to give me licks? <laughs> He's trying to suck on your fingers. I need to get chin scratches. That's a good boy. Still, he really wants Annabelle might be bred to him. So, hopefully she's bred will be. She did not did not look like she came back into heat 28 days later, so hopefully hopefully Axel got the job done. You gonna be a daddy? You gonna be a daddy, Axel? Are you gonna be a daddy? You gonna be a daddy?